feeling so deep in my feelings No, this ain't really like me Can't control my anxiety, yeah Feeling like I'm touching the ceiling, oh When I'm with you, I can't breathe Girl, you do something to me But it's okay because we're going to fix it. We're going to fix it. So the first thing I like to do is get in a spray bottle and just fill it with hot water. And I spray all over my hair. Um, This is the bottle that I usually use but it's like jammed for some reason. I don't know why. The devil always working. You know. So if you're going through the same situation as me, you know, just get a regular bottle of stuff that you used to have. The bottle's empty. Fill it up with water and you good. Basically just try to bring these curls back to life, you know? Um, a little info about my hair. I have been transitioning for about two years now. I used to get perms, but I don't anymore. Um, now I'm fully natural. I have some straight pieces like right here in the front of my hair because I have heat damage in those areas because that's where I used to um, flat iron my hair for my for my uh, sewings and stuff. That was where I had my leave out at and it just got heat damaged and whatnot. So I'm fully natural but I'm just trying to get through this heat damage. Um, I cannot tell you what curl pattern I am what hair texture I have because I honestly do not know and a lot of my curls are different like some are spiral some look like s curls so girl I don't know oh oh mm. spray myself right in the face Jesus Mary and Joseph so basically what the water does to my hair is it just revives the product that's already in it from yesterday's style because I wore this I've been rocking this style for like weeks now so basically the water is just making everything come back to life so once I do that I like to take the not your mother's naturals royal honey and Kalahari desert melon leave-in conditioner I'm really sorry if I just like butchered the shit out of the name but I take this, I love this so much, it smells so freaking good. And it's really, really moisturizing, like honestly, truly, it does the job. I got this from CVS, and I think it was about like $8. It comes in a spray bottle. So I just spray it in my hand like this. I'm not a dime size amount kind of girl. Just take as much product as possible all on my hands, and I just work it all throughout my hair. Smooth it out, all of that extra. Now once I do that, I like to seal that conditioner in with the Jamaican Mango and Lime Island Oil. I got this from CVS as well. It's really, really good. It smells bomb too, you know. But yeah, I don't go too ham on this because my hair don't be needing that much moisture after I use that leave-in but it is the summertime right now so my hair does tend to get a little dry so I just like to take this all over my hands and really focus it on my hands okay the hard part no nah, that's the easy part <laughs> all right so once that's done what is this called my rock tail comb and I like to part my hair. It's kind of easy for me because I have this, I use the same part every single day. I don't switch up, <laughs> okay? But I like to do side parts. So, part my hair. That's why it's good to, um, it's really good to moisturize and detangle your hair before you part your hair so 
you're not ripping at your hair when you're parting it. I'm really a perfectionist when it comes to my parts, honestly, truly. One thing I've noticed about this style is if you don't make your part long enough, the hair won't lay down like it should, you know? Like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's good to make your part long so your hair can, like, actually lay down and, like, it's easier to make it slick, if that makes sense. Okay, so I got my part. Hope you guys can see that. All right, this is the Eco Gel, the Eco Styler that I use. My bottle is effed up. Okay, honey, I've had this for a minute. But what I like to do is get my my knuckle and scoop up some gel. I use a lot, so use however much you want to. Okay, because I use a lot and put it in the palm of my hands and I put it all over the top of my hair where I want my hair to slick down at. So after I do that, I personally think that it's really important to have two different brushes when you do this style. I like to have a hard brush and a soft brush. Um, they're both from the Titan brand. I don't know if you can see that, but um, they're like boy brushes, and I think I got them from either the Beauty Supply Store or Rite Aid. The purpose of having a hard brush is to really rake all of the product through your hair and to really smooth your hair out as much as possible. And then this soft brush just like, I don't know, it's like the finishing touch. Like it just pulls everything together and makes it all look nice and silky. I don't know. I take my hard brush. And I brush the product through. And as I go, I spray my hair with water because it helps it lay down more. So once I got that, I get my scrunchie. I don't even use scrunchies. I use headbands to wrap my hair up. I use this brand of headbands. Or, and if I don't have this brand, I use the Goody brand. But basically, it's just a headband like this. Um, and I double it up like this. And I use that as my scrunchie. I think regular scrunchies pop too easily, so first of all, I spend too much money on them just for them to break, and I hate that. These have never broken on me, ever. But, um, also, a lot of scrunchies have that little metal thing on it, and it really, like, could break your hair off. So, I hate using regular scrunchies. <sighs> Not true girl problems. Woo! Okay. And then I take my soft brush, spray it with water, and I smooth out my hair. And y'all gonna see all those lines are gonna disappear, and my hair is just gonna like come together. What I like to do is take one of these um, edge little brushes that comes with the comb part and the brush part. And I go into my eco and I scoop some up and I like to place it on my edges. So once that is on my hair, I like to take my soft brush and I just brush my edges and I swoop them how I like them to be. So, okay, make your edges how you want your edges to be, sis, all right? You don't gotta follow me, you don't gotta do it how I do it, but I'm just gonna show y'all what I do. So I like to take my brush and I swoop it and I use my finger to like help lay it. 
and whatnot. And then I'll take my little sideburns because I have a lot. And I like the licky to be cool. Over there. And there we go so the last thing I do is y'all probably like dang how much do she do to make this little slick back bun girl it's a lot so after I do my edges I like to take a silk or a satin scarf like so and I like set my edges so they don't pop all over the place And while I'm setting my edges, I probably look like silly from the color of purple right now. But anyways, as I'm setting my edges, I like to spray my bun with more water. My hair dries up. So what I like to do is just finger coil the hair so my bun can have some texture. And I can show off my curls. But yeah, that's what I do. Let's get my curly bun. I take my scarf off. And yeah, that's how I achieve my curly bun. Um, I hope this was easy to follow. All of my products will be listed down below in the description box if you want to check that out. See where I got my stuff from. Also, don't forget to like this video, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.